welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. We're doing distortion things kind of stuff right now. Uh, we've done the MXR Distortion Plus, we did the whatever it was in the last episode, the show show show, super hard on and just loads of those. Uh, and today I have bought these two bags of transistors um, which did not cost a fortune, a 10 pack for three dollars I believe. I'll put the link in the description uh, and we're gonna make hopefully these is these according to one page on the internet these are going to work for building the uh, fuzz phase or so going down back to the roots of uh, distortion type effects uh, fuzz was one of the first distortion or before distortion and overdrive and all these you had fuzz uh, which is just with some transistors. Uh, so before we go and build this and look at all the stuff, I want to say thank you to my patrons. Uh, you guys are amazing and help me do the things I do here. Thank you very much, all of you. Uh, and with that said, let's go and look on schematics where I found this, how to build this and take a listen. Finding information online about the fuzz phase is of course not difficult. Uh, there are loads of, play of pages discussing uh, the technology of the fuzz phase uh, and all through the ages all the different versions. Uh, but I found this one, the fuzzcentral.ssguitar.com slash fuzzphase.php uh, link in the description and here uh, so what's inside they're germanium gears and then so here's the schematics with germanium costs the same uh, price as gold if not more expensive uh, I looked on uh, eBay on these NKT 275 AC 128 and the prices are crazy um, so and then it goes what's inside the silicone years and it goes down here uh, and uh, here we have a fuzz face MP and silicone and if you search on these ones the BC 108 C BC 109 and and those you can find them pretty cheap so I ended up uh, using the BC 109 C because I found 10 pack of these for three dollars from Germany so it was quick and easy and quite affordable. Uh, so this is the design we are going to make uh, and yeah there's just they just discuss all the different the different versions that have been so uh, but we're just gonna end up with this one uh, and I'm gonna build this and we are gonna listen to this all right so here we have it uh, hooked up uh, this is how small and simple the circuit is just the two transistors two capacitors three actually three capacitors and four uh, resistors and of course the pots and jacks uh, so if we look at the input here this is a sinus wave believe it or not um, so it looks like that it is a bit jagged already I'm guessing that is because the circuit uh, affects it uh, backwards somehow uh, but it is a sine wave but so you also what you also see is that this circuit really takes the signal down because if we look at the output there is actually nothing there we need to go from 1 volt to 0 0.1 then it looks like that and, and 0 0.01 or 10 millivolts uh, then we see the um, the uh, waveform again uh, so this is how it looks we can turn it up a bit and then it got sounds like this so really fussy I would guess really sharp edges here so this looks nothing like a sine wave anymore uh, if we 
so this is the volume. If we change, this is the fuzz setting here. If we change that, that, I can't really say that that affects it too much. It might be a bit smoother in this setting than this. I don't know, it's really hard to hear. So this is uh, just a sinus wave, like the most clean uh, waveform we can get. If we plug it through the uh, MS20 filter, then it gets a little bit more grit. So this is when we tweak the filter, this is the resonance. Now we hear a bigger difference with the fuzz knob. Maximum and lowest. Yep. Yeah. So that's how it sounds. Uh, again, really lowers the volumes you need to balance that with the other sounds of course in a good manner so after i did the shoo 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 i had actually already built this circuit before i did the premiere of that video uh, but paul frederick he suggested that i try the 2n3904 so that's like one of the most common npm transistors that you can buy today and also one of the cheapest uh, so he sent me this link to another schematics using two N3904s. And if we compare this one to the one we just built, then we see that there's actually not that big a difference. There's this resistor right here and just a minor 2.2 here instead of 2.0. Uh, so basically I think we could take the circuit we've already done and just replace that with two N3904s. But I've already done it, so of course uh, let's just build another one with two N3904 and listen how this one sounds instead. Because if this sounds as good or just ma minorly different, then of course two N3904s is much better to use than uh, old uh, NPM transistors that isn't made anymore. So let's just uh, put this on a breadboard and listen to this one as well. All right, so I have breadboarded the uh, 2N3904 version. And as we can see on the uh, oscilloscope, it looks very similar. And I'd say sounds very similar as well. This is just the uh, clean sinus wave. We haven't added the filter yet. I'd even say that the uh, fuzz 
actually has a bit more uh, difference here with just the same signal so listen nothing or yeah, whatever way it is I'd say you hear the difference between low and high better here it's a bit more rounded here and a bit more distinct here so let's put it through the filter sounds the same when it's plugged out as well It's on a breadboard, so it's of course a bit sketchy. But I, I almost like this one better actually. Normal 2M3904s. So this is the last distortion module fuzz thing I'm going to make. Uh, I think that the 3904 version, 2N3904 version is really nice and good enough for uh, fuzz. I haven't heard the fuzz face original of course, but I think that sounds really good with a newly made uh, silicon chip that you can buy anywhere really cheap so maybe no reason to buy the BC109C that I found. So thank you Paul Frederick for uh, showing that. Uh, I, it's good when we don't have to uh, use all these old hard to find parts uh, when we make our modular. Uh, so next type of module uh, is a ring modulator also changes the sound a bit like this one does uh, so that is the next episode uh, until then take care bye